Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where in this video we will be going through the Bitcoin chart and going over the current upward sloping channel that we have within the current sideways trading range. I'll also be going over the exact position that I am in right now and how we can expect this to play out over the weekend. So I do hope that you really enjoy this video and not only enjoy but also can learn something from it. So without further said or do, let's get into the charts. This is what we all absolutely love. So Bitcoin, um, I want to, you can see I've, I've deleted everything from the chart here. And I just want to take uh, two minutes to, to remind you all of what happens in trading. Okay, so when you look at this with a blank chart, everything deleted, you might be thinking to yourself, why is price bouncing here? Why is price rejecting here? Why is price bouncing here? Why is price rejecting here? And I tell you this, in trading, there is never a random pivot. Okay, there is never a random pivot. Every single pivot on the chart, I first I suppose, what do I mean by pivot? It really just simply means the highs, the lows, the highs, the lows, the highs. None of this is random. Every single pivot has a technical reason. Although some people might not be able to identify that reason, every single pivot is for a technical reason. So when we're coming down to our lows, we all know what we had down there. We all know what we had up at the highs now because well, we were showing you those daily levels where we were expecting to get our bounces from when we were literally buying Bitcoin and where we were going to be selling when we were, you know, selling, <laughs> getting back into our sell orders. So what, what were those levels? Well, ladies and gentlemen, they were obviously our daily levels. If we remove that harmonica second. Let's just clear up the chart. So we have our three really key levels, don't we? We obviously had our low of the daily. We make our way up to the overall high. Then we have this midpoint, which is offering intraday scalp trades. Okay, so your best trades are obviously from the lows and the highs, but you're getting intraday sculpts from the middle of the middle of the channel. You know, um, so for example, when price is coming up here for a swing failure pattern, why why did price reject up here? Well, it's really simply you got a mixture of things. You got people that are you know selling their longs and then simultaneously entering short positions. So, um, you know, we love the meme at the moment of people talking about like F2 pool. Who do you think this, who do you think decided that this was going to be the high? Uh, probably CC pool. <laughs> we should start that meme. CC pool are the, are the new market makers. We were the people that decided that the daily was a really good short. We wanted to wreck longs. Price made its way down overall to the lows. You know, we were buying at the exact daily. We were selling at the exact daily. We were buying at the exact daily yesterday. This is obviously in reference to Victor's live stream that he made where he was literally saying that now is the now is the time to buy off the daily the stop loss is below the wick and well in the end that obviously resulted really nicely as you got a very nice trade guess where <laughs> to the middle of the daily so cc pool <laughs> cc pool <laughs> are the people in control right now um but you know you might think it's funny but it's, it's actually it's actually pretty true uh exact daily support exact daily resistance, exact daily support, and then we're coming back up into the middle of the channel, which is obviously offering your intraday scalp trades. So what we mean by intraday trades is you don't expect to hold these for weeks on end. You expect to hold the trade may maybe just a few minutes, maybe an hour, maybe a few hours. But what you do not want to do is if you're trading the middle of the daily, you don't want to get greedy. So what do we mean by this? We mean when, when we're entering trades, your first take profit is always going to be relatively quickly. Again, relative means relative to your trading plan. Everybody has a different trading plan at the end of the day. But the way that I approach this is my first take profit is always going to be quick because I like to I like to protect myself. You know, I am in the game of making money. OK, I trade to make money. And so if I'm trading to make money, I prefer to to make money than, than to be right, if you understand what I mean here. Like, I'd prefer to get my first take profit locked in, have a stop loss set, and if I'm correct on my analysis, I will continue to trade. And if I'm incorrect, I get stopped out of that trade, but with, you know, a bit of profit because we have taken take profit one. Obviously, you're always going to be quicker with that when you're on the middle of your channel, for example. At the highs and the lows, you can be a little bit more lenient with yourself with those first quick take profits. Um, and, you know, it's just about a probabilities game. You obviously have your highest probabilities at the higher the daily and the lower the daily. You, have, you don't have as such, such high probabilities on the middle, obviously, uh, because you're trading the middle. Uh, but, you know, when you come up to the highs and lows, you can be, be more lenient with your trades, I suppose. Um, and that, you know, that's really the way that you approach this. 
at the middle of the channel obviously this daily very important um so you know the thing is you, you, you so as i was saying there's never that random pivot so what what do you have right now well, if we come down to the 15 minute chart okay so the 15 minute chart we almost have a range within a range so we always are going from the high of the day to the low, back up to the high, and now we're you know, we're almost in the middle of this internal range. So you have a range within a range within a range within a range right now. It's very, it's a pretty fun trading. You know, personally, I love to trade ranges. We also now have this upward sloping channel. Again, okay. upward sloping channels on such low time frames. You can't expect them to be perfect. Generally, they will offer a bit of a bounce, but. You obviously your bigger levels are your daily so just remember that but you do have currently have this upward sloping channel uh it's not my most favorite in the world but you know you have to try, have to give get get what you're given uh so you do currently have this upward sloping channel uh currently i am in a short and that was really simply i was pretty actually comfortable shorting off of, off of the daily again so i am in a current short position off of the daily but ladies and gentlemen you will see where we are currently getting our bounce from fibonacci from low up to the high ladies and gentlemen let's put on this into the cc ladies and gentlemen we obviously hit that 2d exact dollar this morning at 9 30 and we got our bounce <laughs> i mean i don't even know what to say anymore because we are able to time some of these levels so accurately it's pretty crazy but um yeah, so you obviously had your look at the. I mean, just look at the respect. Look at the respect. Daily to the exact dollar. Daily to uh, you know a wick. You get a move above, straight back down. You know this is where you look to accumulate your shorts, and then, you know naturally, I would hope anyway, anybody that follows us knows that your take profit is obviously going to be in this CC. Uh, not always. It's not like always that you have to use CC, but it's generally like nice intraday. It's obviously the middle of your middle of the range. I don't know. Pretty, pretty obvious that this is obviously a take profit. So then you've got a few different factors that can go on from here. You know, factor number one is that the CC really does hold up as support. I mean, the, the volume, if you look at the volume right now, it's very low. So this is the thing to be expected. On the weekend, you generally look to fade the moves. OK, last weekend we moved to 40, no, $58,000. You know, you look to generally fade those sort of moves. This weekend, if we get a big move, you generally look to fade the move. OK, because the volume is low. You don't have your CME. You don't have your institutional traders. So bear that in mind. Uh, but at the end of the day, you do have, you know, you do have intraday trades to have. And obviously you've got your CC support. Um, and if you lose the CC support, you'd be looking down to the daily. So the way that I'm personally trading this is, I've um, already told you kind of, <laughs> I'm in a short from the daily again. I've already hit my take profit off of the CC. And it's now a really simple case where I have my stop. If I get stopped out of that trade and we go higher, <laughs> I'm going to be pretty, I'm going to be absolutely fine with that. And if we do head down to the lower daily, um, then I'm going to look to either take profit or compound the short, depending on how we approach it. I'm going to have to look at the volume on this one. Um, but we might not make we might not make our way down to the daily. OK, um, I'm not going to be spending all day on my computer today, to be honest with you. I'm going to go out and do some things. But um, yeah, I'll have my alert set. And should a really big move you know, occur, I'm going to be aware of this and I will probably look to trade it. But, you know, I'm not so I'm not going to be so obsessed with looking for a trade on the weekend. I think it's fairly clear that if we clear that higher daily, then we can be looking back up to, a, you know, 50 thousand plus dollars okay so you got a nice three thousand dollar potential in there and if we do reject from here we obviously got that low of the channel support around forty six thousand dollars so you got that forty eight thousand dollar daily which is your resistance currently but if you break that resistance and actually start to hold it okay each time we've got above you're straight back down above straight back down so if we actually manage to start to hold this daily then yeah, i think yeah you can look to be towards your fifty thousand dollars obviously um and I'll, i'm totally fine if, if price does that um alternatively we do not manage to get our closes above the daily and we'll be looking down towards the bottom of our channel alternatively the daily if you lose your lower daily you'll know where we're looking towards about 30 maybe just forty thousand dollars first of all and if you break your upper daily you've obviously got your fifty thousand dollar big psychological levels yeah big psychological levels these psychological levels generally hold of the first time they're tested within these internal ranges so that, that's really how i'm approaching this in a very you know very calm collected manner you know i've got my technical analysis i've got my plan i've got my trades locked in and i'm just very comfortable with however this progresses from here to be totally honest with you i'm very comfortable with this 
And how can I have so much? How can I be so relaxed? How can I approach this in such a calm and collected manner? Well, really simply, the reason is I have an absolute plan and I exactly know what I want to do or my trades. So I'm never going to be in a position of thinking, oh my God, I've got stopped out the trade. What do I do next? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You know, generally people are really panicky. You know, you see loads of people panicking as you're coming down towards these lows. You know, how many people, you know, this is the this is what's really funny from my, from my perspective of why trading is really good and I love it because I know that it's so much based off of psychology. So I know that what's happening up here as we're preaching the daily, you know, your average trader that's trading off of some sort of, really weird pattern it's going to be like oh we're breaking out of the pattern so let's buy you know whereas i'm thinking actually we're going to go for the swing flow pattern and we're going to we're going to short this and then what's happening down here at the lows you know average traders thinking oh my god this is breaking down to like forty thousand dollars at this moment in time but literally i quote victor's exact words he was you know looking into the volume at the exact time it was happening okay he was going into this exact sort of live in the moment no you can't call it like a little bit some lines as well, well. so now we have he was literally recognizing that the volume was too weak to break down and that obviously equals your longs so it's just it's just i don't know it's pretty funny in my opinion how you you come to the highs everybody gets really bullish you break down you come to the lows everybody gets really bearish you break up you come back up into your resistance everybody gets really <laughs> everybody gets really bullish you break down you can just see how it how the psychology of the market is absolutely it just, just works time and time and time again. When everybody gets really bullish, look for shorts. Everybody gets really bearish, look for longs. Um, obviously, if you start to break out of this range, then you can look to, to, to you know, trade. Basically, you trade the range until it breaks. That's, that's what I like to say. Trade the range until it breaks. Okay. And how was, for example, Victor recognizing live in the time that this was not a breakdown? Well, he was looking at his volume statistics and could, you know, be very certain that this was going to be a swing failure pattern. Um, yeah, amazing. Yeah, you know, it truly is a really, um, yeah, it's pretty good, I suppose. So that's really, it really is my perspective. Uh, for the, I, I will acknowledge this, by the way. So obviously, oh yeah, so this was a really funny thing as well. So yesterday in, in this live stream, this was a two hour long live stream. Um, it is Daniel drunk. <laughs> I love you all, I do. Um, but this was pretty funny as well. So we were obviously in a short from the daily and it was really funny what happened in this live stream. And I'm going to summarize it here because most people don't want to watch the two hour live stream, I suppose. Um, in the live stream, I was in the short and I was saying exactly where I wanted to take profit on the trades. And it missed by like $8. I was like, please, can someone dump down into the take profit? We, we managed to hit the take profit on the short. And then I was like, right, I'm going to now go into a long position. We went into a long position on that live stream. It was only like $20,000. We made like $200 profit on it. But it was pretty funny how you literally saw live example in the time, live example as it was actually absolutely happening. Me entering a trade on live stream, making money on the live stream. And what's really what was really good, cool about this is because I can almost guarantee the level that I was taking profits and the level I was buying here, which was basically the exact level of the move. I don't many think many people are able to identify why was that the pivot that it bounced? Why did price bounce here? Why did price come up to here? And then it was also very funny is that when I was like, right, I'm taking profits and I'm 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 actually heading off now, <laughs> price <laughs> price retraced. So it's like we were able to hold up at the lows, we were able to then take profits at the exact high, and that is one that you all saw on live stream, like. You know, you literally say me, say, say me saying, right, I'm going to take profits on my shorts. You literally saw me enter the long. You literally heard me then say I'm taking profits. And it was literally timing from the highs, the exact lows, the exact highs. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Really fun live stream. I enjoyed it. Um, but, you know, that's what we're saying. There's never a random pivot. And that's even when you're trading. You can see here we were trading. the. No, you can't see it. We were trading the one minute chart. So if you're trading the one minute chart, naturally, you're not going to be expecting massive moves off of it. But if you can get in these 1% scalp positions, I mean, the money you can make is is crazy. It really is. Um, so, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to uh, bring your attention to. You know, never a random pivot. We're able to time and call pivots in advance before anybody else in the world even knows that they're there. 
We are literally forming the ranges. We're literally selling the highs and buying the lows of each of the ranges. I then done that on live stream and showed you a real live example of literally buying the exact low, literally take profit at the exact high. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm pretty content, I suppose, of how everything is going right now. Um, and yeah, we're here to help. You know, if you want to learn how to mark out your dailies, how to mark out DCCs, watch me trading. Well, obviously at chartchampions.com, you have all the educational material. So you want to learn about your volume like this. You want to understand how to read volume. You want to understand how to do all these all these levels. Um, you know, contenders at chartchampions.com. If you want to watch me live trading, uh, where tomorrow I'm going to be going through a new trading plan, I will delete all my technical analysis, build it all up from scratch, go for a plan uh, for the week ahead. Um, in this one last week is where we got those three daily levels, by the way. So that was pretty cool. And because of the amount of respect they've had one week later. But, you know, if you're interested in that, that's what we got tomorrow. Um, obviously, that's over at chartchampions.com for the champions. Uh, if you're interested in my next tra Bitcoin trading plan, you can catch that tomorrow in the webinar. Uh, I will end with this last comment, actually, before I end. <laughs> and I, I send this out of love because I love you all. But this one really, really, really made me laugh. Uh, last night on the stream, we were doing like quiz, you know, having a bit of fun. But the people that were like hating on this was funny. Like, like this guy says, this man makes millions in a day and takes the time to do a free live stream to help out others. And people bang on him for singing. You know, I would just want to say, I was having so much fun in that live stream yesterday. I really was. I was having fun. Uh, we were helping people, giving them the levels. Uh, we went through Binance Coin, BNB. I even covered altcoins, which I don't even trade. We went through BNB, going through the setup. Went through Cardano, how that had that wick off accumulation. And obviously Cardano actually looked really, really, really bullish. Um, it surprised me. Like the Cardano chart was really bullish. Uh, but we went over Cardano. We went over BNB. We went over Ethereum. We went over Bitcoin. You even watched me live trade the exact low of the move, taking profit the exact high, and we had some fun. But even, even with that, you know, you can't stop all these trolls, <laughs> which is just, you know, <laughs> losing my faith in humanity. You know, all I want to say is I'm not ever going to change what I do from what somebody comments. You know, I'm me. I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with how we trade. And, you know, you just have to appreciate what I'm giving to you. Really, I hope that you appreciate because not many other people are able to time these levels and time this market like we're doing right now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all I'm going to end with, I suppose, is say for the people that are here, for the people that appreciate, for the people that love what we're doing, we love you in return. And I really, you know, I can see with the results that people are understanding, people are learning and people are trading well. It really does make me happy. So, uh, yeah, you can just read, just read through these, some of these uh, testimonials, I suppose, about AIR. Yeah. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I honestly do hope you have a brilliant weekend. Summary of how I'm trading. I am in a short at the moment. I have hit my take profit one on the short. I'll have my alerts for the next two dailies. If we start to get a break of that higher daily, I can look to trade it to 50k. If we start to break down our lower daily, I'll be looking... Mm, uh, probably just look towards 44k, first of all, to be honest with you. Um... But, you know, I'm, I'm ready ready for it. And uh, I hope that you have a brilliant weekend. Catch some sun rays. It's pretty sunny right now. So, uh, yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you have a brilliant, 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 brilliant weekend. Enjoy trading these charts. They are, a, they are just a piece of art right now. Really brilliant. Very technical. And, uh, yeah, remember, no financial advice in this stream. This is the legal disclaimer if you want to pause and read that. Okay, well, you need to read this. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Cheers.